Hey everyone, and welcome back to Create Mod Skyblock Episode 8. If you missed Episode 7, it should have just popped up in the top right-hand corner of the screen, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, but if you are here for Episode 8, which it's been a long couple of weeks in between these episodes, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Also, if you enjoy my videos, go ahead and drop a like and make sure to subscribe. All right, guys, to get started for this episode, uh, I think we should start with our lovely cliffhanger that we ended on, uh, which is going to be that we can get ancient debris from our uh, type of machine right here. I don't know what this is called, um, but kind of like it's a cobblestone generator, but not it's with blue ice and lava. Uh, we should we should definitely do this so we can get unlimited ancient debris and then use that to make netherite tools, netherite armor, things along those lines. Uh, we might then after that tackle the whole idea or the whole entire process of getting our uh, what is it? There we go, our end portal frames, which we looked at before, and I read some of the comments that uh, we can get our end portal frames from Obsidian and the Gaia, Gaia spirit, uh, and I said, hey, we'll do that, we're going to Botania anyways, why not, uh, and a lot of people said, hey, uh, Rocket, by the way, um, that might take you longer than actually getting this whole process up and running, which seems a lot more difficult um but it's actually not and you also make three in the very end so we might try to tackle this as well as far as probably the hardest thing would be maybe our ender pearls uh but we can actually generate ender pearls possibly with gas tiers which might get a little bit more complicated uh but we could also wash blackstone for ender pearls so maybe we'll build an auto like ender pearl farm maybe uh, it, it, it's going to be a process, but that's going to be one of our main goals is to try to get to the end, essentially. But we're going to automate netherite first. All right, so I just made an XP block. Have absolutely no idea if this actually works. This is not at all what I told you that we were going to do. So just like most episodes, I uh, don't listen to my own advice. But I believe that this XP block, if we go ahead and place next to this mob grinder, it'll actually pick up our XP for us. Theoretically, I've turned down our hostile creatures for this, but um, you can see right here it says zero levels of XP saved. So maybe if we maybe we have to pick this up, if I place this right here. OK, so we got one point six, seven levels. And if I right click, I can pick it up. Oh, it does work. Look at that. Four point eight levels saved. Uh, it doesn't look like it's picking up all of them. However, uh, it is picking up some of them. And I figured that this might help us out a little bit with gathering some XP, especially if we're not here and it's just falling. It might start to grab some XP, but we do have a ton of music discs. Look at that. All right, so I have kind of an experiment that's going to happen here. So essentially, we have a drill, and this is all going to be powered up. But for now, we've built it just kind of manual that we have a drill that's up and running here. And this drill is going to mine whatever block is here. So the item will then fall on the ground and then we're going to have an encased fan pull the item uh, on the ground until it goes over the chute and then the chute is going to drop it into the chest. A little dysfunctional compared to probably a pretty normal type of generator, uh, but it is possible, kind of, theoretically. Uh, we just have to actually power the system, which might be a little bit more unique compared to probably what you would what you would see in a type of machine. Uh, but I've done this because I, I, I think it'll work and I think this will be the cheapest way we can do things because of course this is skyblock. We don't have unlimited resources. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to hope for the best essentially. Look at that. It works. Uh, I will, I will say that this machine is not the greatest design. So maybe let me know in the comments if there's an improvement that you think. Uh, that you think I should do essentially, uh, but you can see that our items are getting pulled if they go into the chute They immediately start going in here, which you know, we'll even wrench that so you can see items that are falling through um, Some of them do get burned depending on the item some also spill out here, but we'll patch that right there uh, Seems like there isn't really a way around that because we do need the soul soil placed beneath those two blocks So I can't put like a chute right below it or anything like that uh, But as far as ancient debris, I believe they can't burn and uh, they are being collected in here, which is really nice, because I mean, just over time, we'll actually collect them without having to go find them or anything along those lines. Uh, but there we go, another eight generator. So as you could probably see, uh, we have a lot of endermen that are spawning kind of everywhere, which I wonder if I angered him by just staring at him. Uh, but 
they're spawning because of our mob spawner up here. And I've, I'm kind of happy that I've done that because that means that we are going to have them spawn around. We can use them for our ender pearls for, of course, our end portal frame because we need eyes of ender. Uh, and that's kind of a good thing. Now, that being said, when I kill them, there isn't a great chance to actually get uh, ender pearls from that. So I really need a looting three sword. Uh, I'll see if there's anything higher than looting three. Uh, there actually is. There's some crazy looting. I forgot about it. We have those enchants. So I think what we're going to be doing is uh, basically just getting as much XP as possible. And then we'll go ahead uh, using our mob grinder, of course. And then we'll go ahead and enchant some things and try to get up as looting as high as we possibly can so that we have a high chance of that. And maybe even when we kill some withers for nether stars, we maybe can get more than one nether star, which would be really cool. What is this? Diamond Axe of Divinity of Violence. Physical damage pierces armor. What is this, man? It does 19.4% overhealing, 100% critical, or critical hit chance, 9 attack damage, 1 attack speed. Is that... I think that's better than... That's weird. I didn't know we could get like that type of drop from a mob, but... Uh, wow, yeah, that does a lot of damage. I guess we'll be using that. So, I don't know if you just realized, as I was killing mobs, I gained hearts from, I think it's this 19.4% overhealing thing. So, I gained hearts from doing damage. This is crazy. I don't even know what mod gives that, like, as a power. Yeah, I think I just gained more hearts. I'm getting, I'm gaining hearts from killing things. Insane. There we go. Level 30. Alright, so let's see what our enchants are going to be. And I just remembered, I haven't been on this, uh, this game mode in so long. But uh, the reason our enchants can go so high is because you can get different types of bookshelves. So that's why it can go so high, because you can do so many. Uh, I'm just going to see if we have any other bookshelves in here. I don't know if we do. I don't think we do. Uh, oh, we have an end shelf. Might as well add that in there. Um, just literally just see what happens. Uh, but if we add this guy into here, um, we can see that if we put our... Let's put our sword in there. Bane of Illagers 4 is what is popping up here. Um, there is a Looting 2 sword, which might not be the worst thing. Uh, let's see what our axe does. Unbreaking, efficiency unbreaking. So uh, we'll probably do this. Um, maybe Bane of Illagers. Or we could do the Looting 2 and then just build upon it. I don't know. We'll have to see because we can basically have unlimited XP so we can kind of see what we need to do from that. There we go. All right, so what I've done is I enchanted the axe because I couldn't guarantee what I was looking for. It gave us a silk touch axe, efficiency, unbreaking. Not necessarily that we're going to use that for unbreaking, but it was just so we can get an enchant in there. We did get baby steps, enchanted item at level 30, which is still pretty low compared to what we can do. Uh, but if we look at our next enchants, we can see we got unbreaking, we got looting one, uh, but we can see our other ones, projectile protection... It looks like we actually have Feather Falling, which might not be the worst one to get. But we have a bunch of different enchants like that. Um, and of course, our Unbreaking Sword, which we might go for that just to see what our other enchants are. Because we're really just looking for a Looting Sword, uh, which will allow us to get more Ender Pearls. Of course, we could also go to the Nether, trade gold for Piglins for Ender Pearls as well. So that's an option. Uh, but we'll have to kind of see what we need to do. All right, we have made it back, and uh, yeah, it, it's been <laughs> it's been a lot of grinding to get all this up and running, to say the least. Uh, so essentially, what we did is we kept mob farming over there to get some XP. We went over here, and we continued to basically just enchant, go back to farming, enchant, back to farming, just just so much, an unbelievable amount. We've also been able to kill a bunch of Endermen um, between the time of then and now. Uh, which has rewarded us with five ender pearls. Not a lot, because we only finally got a looting three sword, which, by the way, look at this enchant. Insane that this was level 30. Uh, but you know what? We take it. We take what we get. <laughs> uh, but we also have an efficiency four pickaxe, unbreaking three. Uh, we have our axe that we found, of course, which I don't remember if it was enchanted before. If not, here we go. Um, we also have four or full protection for armor besides our boots that has blast protection. Good enough. It should help us with taking out the wither. I believe blast protection actually helps us out, so that's always a good thing. Uh, but we are basically good to go in that sense. I figure we'll showcase um, our ancient debris really fast.
I totally forgot. Uh, we actually have them inside of our chest right here. So if we type in uh, ancient, if I get spell, there we go. Uh, we have 77. So uh, yeah, it's it's been a minute to say the least. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and take these guys. So at least we have them. Um, I think I've actually thrown my food back in here. So there's our bread. Uh, but we are basically good to go for netherite armor now, theoretically. Uh, I believe the way that this works is, yes, we have to smelt it. It's netherite scraps, and then we need gold. Uh, benefit is that we have a ton of golden nuggets from our processor, so we should be able to turn these actually into netherite for us, uh, and then just go full netherite armor. So let's go ahead and do that. So I did just realize that I probably didn't need this much, uh, because you can use a crusher, and actually crush ancient debris into possibly more netherite scrap. So I guess we'll do that, even though I uh, kind of feel like an idiot now for uh, gathering so much. Granted, it was automated, but, you know, whatever. Uh, crusher, we could throw this in there, and then we just have to power our system, and we will be good to go. So we have our crusher processing our ancient debris, which we might run out of fuel soon, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go. But I figured for now, we should work on getting the other ingredients of our end portal frame. Which, uh, which includes prismarine blocks, which I almost scared myself for a second. Didn't think we had any, uh, but then I realized we have a ton, uh, <laughs> as you could tell, because we do generate it from our generator over there. So we can generate those. Uh, we need blocks of diamond. We can get those. Blocks of emeralds. I don't know if we generate emeralds. Probably not, because we only have about 30. So we might have to do some trading uh, to get those guys up and running. Um, end crystals. Again, we're going to need gas tiers. We might be able to kind of finesse this a little bit more. Uh, but the nether stars are going to be the biggest challenge because that means we have to take out withers. So I'm going to have to do some research to figure out how to get withers uh, or how to kill them in a skyblock world safely is what I mean. Uh, but besides that, let's go ahead and grab all of the other ingredients that we possibly need. There we go. Our very first netherite tools. Uh, I've made our tools netherite before our armor because I don't think it adds armor. Maybe I should check. I could be I could be completely wrong on that. Uh, oh, it adds knockback resistance. That actually would be a little helpful. But either or, we're going to end up making netherite armor uh, anyhow because we have a bunch of netherite scrap and ancient debris and things like that. But I started out with our netherite tools. Uh, and then over here, I've set up a pressing area, which I think I might have pulled it all out. No, I didn't. So we're pressing prismarine bricks, which actually we need a ton and we don't have that many. So we're going to have to really let our generator go for some time. Uh, but once we get a bunch of prismarine uh, bricks, we can actually use those for our end portal frames because we need four, uh, four each for each of them. Um, or excuse me, four of these blocks for three of them. So we don't actually don't need that many. I don't know why I thought we needed four per end portal frame, whatever. Uh, diamonds, emeralds, uh, the and crystals, what I've been doing is gas tiers you can actually get from blackstone. Very, very little chance, but we do have a ton of blackstone um, from just our generator that we have going on over here. So I've just been washing this whenever we have a chance. And sometimes it actually turns into ender pearls, which is perfect because we need those as well. So uh, we've been doing pretty good in that sense. There we go. We got full netherite now up and running, uh, which we have literally full netherite tools minus a couple different things that i just don't really use in skyblock but we have full netherite armor and we are we're kind of killing it this episode i gotta say all right i have returned i am back into the world it has been in real life several days after the last bit that you just saw uh because i went ahead and recorded edited uploaded went to classes and everything of the overstress video and all of that nonsense uh and now we're back in the world uh, and I have some ideas. So I want to first point out wither skeleton skulls. You can craft them. I don't think I'm going to do this. Uh, you can craft them with skeleton skulls, blocks of coal, and oil. Um, the skeleton skulls, the blocks of coal, not horribly difficult to get. Uh, the oil is also not horribly difficult to get because it's just, uh, alloy smelting, water, charcoal, boom, oil. Really not that difficult. However, I'd have to build a create machine in order to make wither skeleton skulls, and I'm just, I don't see the, the reasoning for that yet. Uh, we might do that. That might be a little easier, but I want to give it a shot by going to the nether because we haven't explored the nether at all in this entire time of playing this game. Uh, so I want to go to the nether. If we could just find wither skeletons, we could just farm them with our looting three sword. Uh, and at least that's my idea. Now, once we get that, we're also going to fight the withers in the nether. 
might not be the greatest idea, uh, but that's that's our idea, essentially, uh, because it'll be an open area. We can actually fight them as opposed to if I get knocked off the edge here, I just die. Um, of course, if I don't have full health versus if I'm in the nether, I might die to lava. Yes, but I, I, I think it'll be easier in my opinion. So I've been exploring the nether for a little bit now. Uh, we've found a couple wither skeletons, but we've received no skulls. Uh, we've looted this entire nether fortress, which uh, we got some items from, but we do generate items inside of this world, so it doesn't really matter too much. I think I'm going to bite the bullet. We're going to go back and we're actually going to make the create machine because I guess in the end, this is create skyblock. I might as well. There we go, finally, Silk Touch. And we got Miner's Fervor, which I don't know what, I don't know what that does. All right, so this, this isn't too useful for us, but this makes it so the speeding, or the, the efficiency of mining depends on the sea level you're at. So I think if you're lower to zero, uh, then it actually goes ahead and mines faster, uh, versus if you're at a higher level, mines slower. Um, Either or, we have Silk Touch. I'm going to use that to uh, harvest all of the coal and stuff from there because we actually need coal. I was working on generating some coal uh, or blocks of coal, but uh, I realized if we just got a Silk Touch pickaxe, we have a ton on that island, so we could just harvest all of it. That should be good enough for what we're trying to do. Oh, oh my. So I... It's not the worst thing. I harvested all of the ores, most of them. I mean, you can still see some from that island because I made a silk touch pickaxe. And from that, oh, I just, I think I just put all the items back into here. But you can see that we got about a stack of coal because I needed coal blocks. And I was like, hey, they have this weird recipe with blackstone and oil to make coal's blocks. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just craft them via coal. Uh, and then I realized that uh, they've removed that recipe. You need blackstone and oil to do coal blocks, which is going to be a little bit annoying because of the oil. Um, but, you know, here we are. We're going to we're going to do our best uh, to, to work around this. There's our first block of coal. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a minute because I can't right click on this, so I right click on this, and then I hold this hand crank, and that pumps our oil right into our basin, as you just saw right there. Uh, and then once we do that, we then have to throw our blackstone in, and then it presses, and we get a piece of coal out of that. This is gonna be a long journey. <laughs> All right, we got our blocks of coal, which is step one, but now we need skeleton skulls which is going to be very interesting to figure out how to get those uh, and more oil, um, which luckily we have tons of oil. That's why I made a ton of extra oil, but we need to get skeleton skulls, which I truthfully don't know how to get. So I have some bad news, uh, kind of bad news. So uh, we've we have a way of getting blocks of coal. We have a way of getting oil. Uh, we definitely could set up blaze cakes. That's that's not that difficult. We basically have all the resources. Uh Skeleton skulls is where it got interesting because I was like, all right, we actually have one, surprisingly. I have no idea on how we've gotten a skeleton skull, but we have one. Uh, and I, there is no crafting recipe. I've checked that. I've looked online vanilla wise. If you can get a charged creeper, you can blow it up and it will give you heads of the mobs that it has killed, which is cool. However, uh, I am in Skyblock. Getting a charged creeper is relatively difficult unless I can summon lightning somehow, which I don't think I can. Um, so that, that's, that's a problem. Now, uh, there is another option after doing some research. In good old Botania, the mod that I kind of just didn't work with in this episode, uh, is, uh, it gives you an el elementium axe is something you can get later into the mod. Uh, it's this pink type of, uh, type of armor set and tools. Uh, it doesn't say it inside of here. However, uh, I looked online and it says that if a zombie skeleton, wither skeleton creeper, or guardian of the Gaia, Gaia? I could be wrong on that one, uh, or a player is killed with this axe, there's a chance to drop the entity's head. The chance increases by the fortune enchantment. So, um, 
I was looking at that going, okay, and it looks like there's actually about like a 15% chance, and then it goes up to almost like 27% if we have Fortune 3. So, uh, we need to basically progress more in Botania so that we can go ahead and get these Elementium ingots up and running. So I guess we're going to take a pause here and dive deeper into Botania. All right, so we have created a runic altar, which has a really cool like animation of floating things on top. Uh, and then runic altars allows us to create runes, uh, which there's a ton of them in here. And uh, the main gist is that a lot of these are used to create different types of like tools and items and things like that. And then there's like basic ones, which are kind of like the water, fire, earth, air things or no, excuse me. The basic ones, I think, are the seasons. So summer, autumn, winter, things like that. And then you go to more advanced ones which are like uh, greed and wrath and sloth and envy and all these other things. Um, all of them need different items in order to be created. And you need to basically send mana to this runic altar uh, and then throw set items on top and then boom, creates a rune. Uh, we haven't created any yet because we haven't found, I think, a tool in my mind of what we need to actually create with runes. I could be wrong because it's been a couple weeks. Um, but as far as this, it's kind of... Uh, we're just going to keep diving more into Botania. Oh my god, I am doing it correct. So I connected the mana spreader to the mana pool and then used sparks to then send it over to the terrestrial agglomeration plate, which then I needed to throw down a um, mana steel, a mana pearl, and a mana diamond, which should then turn into t terra steel ingots. So that is, if we do at Botania, um, you have mana steel, then you have terra steel, and then I believe you have elementium, and then you have the the Gaia spirits um because Terra steel like armor and such uh if I can find some or mana steel excuse me you can upgrade the mana steel armor into Terra steel um and have Terra steel armor instead um and then I wonder if you can then looks like you can I was gonna see if you could upgrade Terra steel into elementium but um elementium should be after this at least in the progression of armor kind of so we'll see as soon as we can get this thing to like actually finish. I may or may not have uh, not recorded that segment because I went AFK for a second and uh, but here we are. Um, I thought I was recording. I, you didn't miss anything besides I got my first tear stealing it and now we have more pages to read. <laughs> um, I think I do more reading in this uh, this series than I do in college. Uh, don't tell my professors that. Hey everyone, this is where I'm going to be ending this Skyblock episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But just as usual, here's a sneak peek at next week's episode. So from the pages that we just unlocked, we unlocked like a bunch of different items like Terra Steel Armor and things like that. But we, we unlocked an entire section of the book where we're going to go into a portal to a different world. How did I not know about this? We're going to Alfheim, I think that's what it's called, which is, I, I think they're talking about elves, elves. Yeah, elves lived there. Um, that's what we're doing. We're going to, what?